Okay, wow, what a beautiful day. Whew. When I left my house this morning, it was uh, raining. So I normally go beach combing down that way. Sorry, down here. So I come closer to the ferry today just to go for a little walk, see if I can find any treasures. I'm looking, still looking for a piece of uh, crotch wood for a special project. I just parked right where that truck is on the other side there. I just parked right over there. So, I just like to get out sometimes and Here's a nice piece of cedar. I already flipped this is a nice cedar log right here. Nice piece of cedar I already flipped over there. You know, I don't need to film when I do these beach combing videos, but I know lots of you guys, um, a few friends, subs are in wheelchairs, so it's hard for them to, for you to get out. And some other subs like the beach combing videos. So if I'm coming down, like, I might as well film. Like, why not, right? It's a bit more rocky down here, like more bigger rocks, so I gotta be careful. What's the hurry? When you're in a place like this, what's the freaking hurry? What the hell is this? Oh, oh maybe that's somebody's float or something. It's like it's tied to a rock or something down there. This is kind of what I'm looking for here. But. Oh. That's it. This is, I think this is, uh. Douglas fir too, but you see, sings a couple legs there. One leg, two leg. I'll carve a face up in here, kind of thing. I don't know. I wish it was more straight. But I'll put it here, just for safe keepings. I've talked about it in my other videos, kind of like uh, uh, Lord of the Rings, those tree guys. What are they called, ohms or something? I forget the name. I'm sure somebody will remind me of the, the name. I haven't been down this far in a while because that's a paid parking lot right there where I'm parked. So I hope I don't get a ticket. I haven't got a ticket yet, but you just never know. I dress too warm too. So it makes it funner when you come beach combing in your forest or a lake or a creek, whatever you got, if you're looking for a certain piece, right? Because, well, then you know what you're looking for. And you can clean up shit like this, this at the same time. Just carve Rob, I see a shoe. I see a shoe here. Oh.
Nothing in it. soaking wet. Oh, there's lots down here. I'm surprised I haven't seen any decent sized cottonwood bark yet. Wow, what a beautiful day. I mean morning. Sorry guys, this isn't my GoPro. This is uh, my phone. Here's a nice piece of cotton wood bark. A little bit thin, but a very carvable piece of bark. See that Evil Rick, see how thin that is? I seen you passed up some bark on your uh, video, but you're riding the bike, but this is a very carvable piece of bark right here. That's a cool piece. I like those pieces with the holes in them. And that's Douglas fir too. Or maybe not. Might get that on the way back. Here's a nice piece of cedar. Not what I'm looking for today though. There's tons down here. Cottonwood bark, cottonwood bark, just small stuff. Looks like a mountain. piece of cedar. I know I repeat myself but I can always tell cedar because it's a softer type of wood western red cedar right and that when it spends time in the ocean or the lake or creek or whatever the edges wear down right so the edges aren't so sharp. That's how you tell the softer wood when you're beachcombing. That's an early piece. Holy Larry, look at this one. Over there in Vancouver Island. I know you like stuff like this. I'll leave that there. It's nice, no cracks, just a root ball or something. Hey Larry, what do you think about that one? Think I should take it home? 
bring it over to Vancouver Island for you next time I come over there. Okay, I'm just going to turn the camera off, have a little break here, and I'll be back. Okay, break time's over. Look at that piece, Larry. It started getting too hot, I had to take my jacket off. I don't know, I'll, I'll grab it for you. I know you'd probably be cursing me if I didn't. Whatever. Maybe you don't like it. I'll burn it if you don't. Very curvable piece of bark. Here's a nice piece of cedar. Just the outside of a slab. Somebody already cut it with the saw. See, you get a piece like that and you carve something on it. You can hang it on a wall or leave it against a wall. There's a nice piece of bark. And a piece of glass too.
see something like this, but I need it more. The legs closer together. That's smaller. Cottonwood bark. Oh. There's another nice piece. A cedar log right here. Okay, I'm gonna fast forward a bit till I get uh, up there. Yep. I just had a huge bail. Oh, it hurt. Smash my elbow. This old cedar log. Here's that dock that was here last year. Okay, continue. Ah. I gotta keep on uh, reminding myself after I have a little bail like that. Jordy, slow down. You're not in any hurry. Here's a nice piece of bark. Oh, yeah, look at that one. I'll probably carry this for a while until I get tired of carrying it. But it seems like it's nice. It seems like it's not too heavy. It will dry nice and not shale too much. I'll just put it on the log here. See if I remember it on the way back. I'll just put this stick up here to remind me it's there. Ah. Douglas fir bark. Hate it. See, when we get storms coming in here, 
All this wood could be washed off the beach and pushed down towards, uh, I go beach combing down that way, right? So it's always mixing up. There's a cool piece. Super cool piece. I like them when they got the holes in them. When you carve a wood spear on here, it just gives it so much more character. So 100% I will be taking this piece. I think it's Douglas fir though. That's okay, sometimes you gotta carve what you get, right? That's yeah, a neat piece. Nice little root mass there. Might take that too. I don't know, we'll just have to see. But so I'm gonna put this piece by there so it's standing up now. I can see it on the way back. Because if it's not standing up, I'll forget that it was there. Oh. Root burls, root burls. Man, I'm tired since after I took that fall. Oh, it's a dead seal. I think it's a dead seal. What? Or it's a big fish. Yeah, it's a dead big fish. I don't know, it looks like a dolphin. With its tail here. Yeah, that's a dolphin. See its tail? Oh, <coughs> that stinks! That's a little dead uh, porpoise. Poor little guy. Whew. That's porpoise. Want me to say it again? It's a porpoise. Cedar. Piece of cedar right here. See, these old uh, log boobs are good to use to get too because if it's not broken, see it's broken there? But you know, you gotta you take it home, you wrap some rope around it and it's a nice little yard ornament, right?
I'm gonna sit down, the ferry's just unloading. I'm gonna sit down and take a little break so you guys don't have to listen to all the cars. Maybe, sorta. Okay, look at this piece I just found. See, that's what I'm looking for right there. But, so I don't have to attach any wood. Are you gonna have big feet down here? But I'd like the top to be longer. So this would be reversed. These would be branches coming off the tree. It would split there. And then yeah, I'd like the top to be longer with a root mass on the top. I'll show a picture of a uh, Kevin, he's on Vancouver Island, Ryan Cook's best friend. I'm gonna show a picture right now of what I'm talking about uh, that he's done. And uh, I wanna do something the same. Even start off with a smaller one, my little workbench at home, right? Because, yeah, I don't, uh, I don't know. I'll leave it here. Get out of there. Ah. See, look at that one. Get it out of here. See? See the legs? That'll be his waist, but I want it to be one piece. I'm just gonna go right to here and then that's about it. Look at that gnarly piece of root here. Whoa, take it easy, slow down, Jordy. Look at this gnarly one. Whoa. Super cool. Well, I know where it is if I need it. But I don't know why I'd need it. There's a big crotch. See, I'm gonna find, not in any pack to find, but I wanna find it again. So it's got two legs coming straight off, kind of separating. Then it goes down here. I can carve a face in there. Something like that, I don't know, you know? I think the tide's coming in, so. And I'm getting pretty close to the ferry. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna start heading back. If I see any good things, I'll, I'll film it. Okay, back to this piece. Do I take it or do I leave it? Do I take it or do I leave it? I'm not carrying it all the way back there. I'll leave it there for now, I guess. Okay, bye. Okay, so this is what we got here today. I got the piece with the holes in it. I found this piece. You know, once it dries up, clean it up. And then you got like a nice like little short staff for somebody to put in the corner of their house. I'll carve some, a wood spirit on it or something. And uh, Larry's piece. I don't know if Larry, if you're gonna want this, but it's not too heavy. But yeah, it's a root ball. It's a root ball um, knot burl thing. I don't know. 
Should I take it? I don't know. I'm not talking to Larry right now. Well, I'm not like like live talking to him. He's not telling me if I should take it or not, but I'll take it anyways. Maybe Larry can make something neat out of it. Okay, that's all. I'm taking the high road back and uh, getting out of here. Hope you're all good. Talk to you later. Okay, bye. Okay, I think I'm going to go to my chainsaw carving tent. You want to be quiet over there and uh, carve something on this piece of wood I found the other day. There's your piece, damn you, Larry.